Hello class. Today we're going to find out what's behind the orange door. Come on. Well, here we go. Yeah, this is the bathroom. Check it out. Clawfoot bathtub, white subway tiles, old timey lamps. Let me show you some of the highlights of our bathroom here. This is an old chest of drawers that my wife refinished in. She did a great job on it. I like all the eclectic knobs that we have on here. And um, she cut the holes for the sinks. But I gotta show you one of the features of the drawers. It's kind of fun. I had to come back through and custom cut out each drawer so the pipes would fit in here. How cool is that? So this is my drawer. You can look in my drawer anytime. You can borrow some dental floss or something and feel free. I really love this arch. I tell you, anything in construction when you're doing curves are a lot harder. But man, it sure is worth it. I love the way it just frames in the, the clawfoot bathtub. I don't think I need to tell you where you're sitting when you're reading this. And that's a hot commodity these days. There's an old timey light, a little wall sculpture we did, some shelves. And then I built this little enclave area. That's all out of Ipe wood. Cheer, check this out. This opens up and you can put all kinds of towels in there and stuff. And we'll just throw that one in there for now. I absolutely love this clawfoot bathtub. There's just something old timey about it. So every once in a while I'll take a hot bath in here. Check this out. I open these windows up. Look at that. Oh, how cool is that? There's my Grandma Grace's rose tree right there. When that's in bloom, that is something else. So when I'm sitting in the tub, I get to look at these wall sculptures that my wife and I made. We both drew them out. We both carved them out. Let me give you a little backstory on this bathroom. See, this house was built back in the 1950s and the original shower was rotting out and leaking under the house and it was a mess. So we needed to completely gut this one and rebuild it. But we only had this one bathroom. So we needed to build a second bathroom completely from scratch. So let me come show you that one. And you know what would be fun? Let's go climb through the window. Come on. I forgot to tell you, I made these windows out of a couple old doors. Pretty fun, cut them down. We clouded up the windows with some kind of crazy acid stuff. Then you come around to our little funky patio area. And you just loop around to our second outdoor bathroom. Here it is. So this bathroom, this is my bathroom. I haven't got tile on the ceiling. I used every single tile possible. Handmade tiles, broken tiles, tiles I found at thrift stores, school projects that kids left behind. I did this tile piece back in grad school. We had to take somebody else's artwork and change the medium. I took it from one of those dramatic comic strips in the paper, but for somehow the context Feels really appropriate. There are so many different kind of tiles. You don't need a newspaper in here. Little glass marbles. I even put glass bottles and glass block in there so light comes through. I glazed brick. Oh, look at that. We got a little stash there. Even put a spark plug in. Look at that. Shooting the sun. I love this tile. This was left over by a student. Another little nook. 
for the toilet paper. Look at this fun tile. This guy is shouting things that start with L. I don't know if you noticed, but there's a shower in here too. Right next to a Howard Johnson plate. That way you can take care of your business and shower at the same time. Who knew a week ago that you'd be watching bathroom tours from your teacher? Well, crazy times. So anyways, stay strong, make something, and we'll get through this. All right, you guys, until next time.